Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. A testimony from Jacques. Whoa, this will blow your mind. It blew my mind when I read it. Greetings from the UK. I just wanted to share with everyone who needs to hear it that I am a living testimony of who God is. God also called me 17 years ago when I was dabbling in the occult, going to tarot card readers, mediums, warlocks, and witches, and playing with tarot cards and runes, and unwittingly and unknowingly opening up spiritual doors. I was also doing the things of this world, like fornication, getting drunk, partying hard, thinking that my life was in order, only for God Almighty, my Deliverer, the one in whom I did not even believe in, to call me a nobody and reveal to me that my life was totally out of order. He revealed who he was to me. And I thank God for those days of him breaking and remolding me because had it not been for him, I would not be here today. I was not brought up as a Christian. In fact, my father practiced the arts of Freemasonry, which is also linked with the KKK, another demonic cult. Nor did I have any interest in any type of religion or worship of any God except myself. He had taken me from a mighty long way. I vividly remember being tormented every night and day for months upon months by demonic forces. Several months after joining a local church, I remember being so terrified one night and was not able to go to sleep as I could hear and feel the evil around me. I called my pastor for prayer, and before the prayer had even ended, I could feel angels fanning me with so much peace, and I could sense a feeling as if God himself was wrapped. He was wrapping his arms around me. However, I still did not submit to Christ even then. As the devil had such a hold on me, when I finally did make up my mind and submit to Christ nearly nine months later, then I was delivered from the occult and started ministering to others in similar situations. That said, it has been a very long battle. I'm glad to say that my dad is now fighting his own battle and has decided to follow Jesus along with other members of my family. I can also testify to what this woman says about demons entering animals. I recall going to visit my mom in the hospital with my daughter. We passed some d drug addicts who asked for the time, but I sensed they wanted more than that, so I told them we didn't have the time. We carried on walking. The next thing I knew, the drug addicts had set their two pit bulls after us. It was so weird because I felt a blanket of peace come over me and I just kept calling on Jesus. The dogs ran past us as if they could not see us. Then they just ran back to their own corners. I thank God for his covering and for all the miracles he has done in my life. He is great. <laughs> is that a testimony or what? Is that a testimony or what? I'm going to send him the video of me telling my testimony of a pack of dogs attacking me and how, and that this was in my book, uh, An Epic Journey into the Supernatural. I'll have it in the link below in a little bit. But for right now, what happened was I was walking down the street and this pack of animals during mating season charged me from all four sides. Well, I already had had that experience a number of times when I was unsaved. And all I knew how to do was yell, cuss, kick, and swing my big old purse. But it didn't stop them from attacking me. But check it out. 
I holler it this time. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Do you know? This is why this man's testimony made me shout. Because I remembered wondering if I had disappeared before their very eyes. It was like they were in the middle of the run. And then it was like, oh, 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 what was I getting ready to do? Oh, 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 oh. And it was like they had no more awareness of me being in their midst. And I just kept whispering, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus as I toddled myself on to that bus stop. Unscathed. Yes, God is great. God is not only mindful of us, he is more than able. And when we are in Christ Jesus, we can use his name. And I am telling you, when we use his name, his name is a mighty weapon and a mighty shield of defense. Yeah, you better check Jesus out. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> as the old folks say, he is due to trust. <laughs>